Welcome back, everybody, for this episode. Uh, this is technically going to be the epilogue, I guess. Uh, we finished off the ending of the main story. If you want to check back in, I highly recommend going to the last episode. For now, though, we're going to start off. This is going to be the armor you unlock with Sparing Shimmera, whereas this one right here, I'll give you a little couple peeks into the other colors you can get, uh, is going to be the one you're going to unlock if you don't spare Shimmera. So, honor, non honor. In all honesty, I prefer the white one. I think it looks a little bit cooler with the ghost title. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to dive right into episode 18 here, guys. It's writing our memoirs. Don't mind me. All right. Catching you up to speed from the last episode. Again, if you don't got the time, that's all right. We'll kind of give you a little synopsis here. Uh, pretty much what happened is we met up That's with tiring. Lord Shimra, he made my the head disbanded Clan Sakai. We are no longer a lord me. or even a samurai at this point. I did. guess they're kind of the same. They kind of go hand in hand. But as a result, after kind of walking the life and the history of the relationship of Jin and Shimra, get to go back to your dad's resting place, have a brief haiku, reflection, and then you have a battle. Uh, after the battle, you have the option, assuming you beat him, to spare or by honoring him. Uh, he obviously would like to die by the code of honor. It's not really a good look to go back to the Shogun and be alive and say you really couldn't stop your nephew and that was kind of the price you had to pay to kind of keep your role as Jito. So I would like to see how that kind of falls out. You don't get to really hear anything from that, sadly. Maybe that'll be in a Ghost of Shima too. Would be nice to see. Uh, but either way. Uh, inside here, just kind of running through, you're getting old pieces. I've been rambling over, so I apologize. But a lot of these things we're looking at and interacting with are just kind of like little memoirs to remember uh, little bits and pieces and the characters and individuals we met throughout the story. Jin. I like your new home. It suits you. It will have to do, now that Clan Sakai is gone. And I've been branded a traitor. I heard about your uncle. Will he come for us? I don't think so. But sooner or later, someone will. What matters is you're alive. You defeated Kotun Khan and left the Mongols without a leader. The mainland is safe. But our home isn't. The Khan's forces are stuck here, more desperate than ever to conquer our island. Then we'd better keep fighting. Sensei Ishikawa is still hunting his student. Probably wondering what's taking me so long to show up. Where is Lady Masako? Tracking her family's killers. I offered to help, but she wasn't interested. She shouldn't do it alone. I'll find her. Did you talk to Norio? He said the monks still need support. I should check on Yuriko. The invasion's taken a toll on her. She's not the only one. What about you? We still have unfinished business in Otsuna. We do. Just don't forget. Tsushima needs you. I'll never forget that. Good. We'll cover more ground if we split up. Hit the Mongols from all sides. Take back our home. Goodbye, Jin. And take care of yourself. I will. You too, Yuna. I'll miss you, Yuna. But that shit you said about my house ain't gonna fly. <laughs> Alright, new game unlocked. You get to keep your armor, all that cool stuff. Uh, like you heard her talking about with all the tales, we got a lot of friends we need to go see, so that's gonna be the primary focus of these videos. At least for the initial kind of follow-up here. We're going to dive into the Lady Moscow sequence. I believe there's like nine of them. We've already knocked out one or two in the earlier videos. We're going to roll through these real quick, get those knocked out, and then maybe start liberating villages. So now that we're here, in short, pretty much, uh, just going to stop at this gift tree. That looks pretty badass, honestly. Uh, but like I was saying, we are going to go ahead and we're going to start off with the Lady Masako missions. After that, I think what we'll do is we'll start rolling through some of the villages, take those out, and then maybe dive into the next tale. So you guys let me know what you'd like to see next, and then we'll roll into that. Lady Masako, do you have news of your family's killers? On the list we found, Sada was at the top. He's the head man of Kuta Farnstead. Kuta's people served your clan. Why would he turn against you? Because he is an ungrateful traitor. My husband appointed Sadao as headman. 
and he repaid that kindness with bloodshed. I learned he fled Kuta the night my family was murdered. He must have heard you survived. Sadao is a deceitful snake. But his brother, Hachi, is a fool. He just passed by the temple carting food for the refugees. He will make an unscheduled delivery to his brother. And we will be there to catch him. have to go, or we will lose him. After what happened at the inn, I didn't think you'd visit the temple again. I came to watch for Sadao's brother, and mourn Clan Adachi's dead. Have you given your family a proper funeral? Not while their killers walk free. After my father died, I said goodbye to him that same night. It helped ease my pain. I buried them. That will have to do. For now. When's the last time you slept, or ate? I had some rice and fish yesterday. Even the youngest warrior needs a full belly and a rusted sword arm. Are you calling me old, Lord Sakai? <laughs> I wouldn't dare. My sword arm works just fine. We should have caught up to Hachi by now. Which way do you think he went? Both roads look traveled. Let's search the area. He can't be far. Gotta be honest with you, I'm still lost for words and uh, got a sour taste in my mouth about that shit Yuna said. Our house suits us. What was that supposed to mean, honestly? It was literally caving in and falling down. Like, is, is that what she thinks of us? No. Times are tough. Alright, gotta imagine this little cart up here is who we're looking for, so let's check it out. Musical. look. The man with the cart. That's Hachi. Sada's brother. He's leaving. And we will follow. Alright. Looks like we're taking a page out of old Assassin's Creed book and uh, got a nice tailing sequence here. Not to talk shit either, but, uh, let me scoot up here. Not to talk shit either, but, if I believe correctly, the parkour actually would probably be a little bit better than, uh, <laughs> AC Mirage, so. A return to roots. No, I'm not gonna, this isn't a, a AC Mirage smear campaign, I'm just making some subtle comparisons is all. That game all in all, actually, you know, last piece I'll say here is pretty decent. So, I enjoyed it, got a review, one of the first things I did, actually, with this page. Uh, so mind the discomfort in my tone. It's a meeting. We'll pass it along. He handed them a note. I'll stop here again at the usual time. We'll meet you there. Forget the wagon. Follow those horses. On a separate note, what do you guys think about this straw hat I got? Found this browse in between locations. Looks like it belongs on like a coast. Still an idiot, but he has good sake. Ooh. I like how they're bandits talking down on bandits. At least they all, you know, recognize the the shitty quality that is their profession, I guess. But 
cut these flowers. Alright, looks like we're going to be rolling up on the camp here. We've got a couple guys patrolling around the perimeter, so I'd imagine we're going to get a nice little... Oh, there we go. No? No. Yes. There we go. A woodcutter's house. Guarded by bandits. Sarah's cousins. We must be hiding there. We don't know that. But we will soon find out. Come and face me! You know me. Number one rule. Get the marshes out the way. Also, when you go from fighting full armor-plated Mongols to this, it's, it's almost too easy. Corpses can't answer questions. There's someone in the house. I'll make them talk. Let me try first. It's funny how every time we're with Masago, we have to like be like, hold on, let me go first. Because this bitch crazy. She gave it to the guards. Doesn't say where he's hiding. going to hurt you. My name is Sakai. Who are you? Hina, Sada's wife. My husband is innocent. The Mongols killed your family. Where is he? I, I don't know. You're lying. She'll help us. She can't stay here. I'll take her to my estate. She is going to kill me. No harm will come to you. You see that look she gave us when I said that? No harm will come to you. And she's like, ugh, ugh. Just appalled. <laughs> Something's wrong with you, lady. Alright, I'm gonna cut us forward, and I will see you guys at the next part of this tale. Lord Sakai. Lady Masako, has the traitor's wife told you where he's hiding? Every time I ask, she starts crying and won't look at me. Can you blame her? I'm starting to. Maybe a young samurai will charm her. She's inside. <sighs> Wait here. My lord. Lady Masako plans to kill me. I can see it in her eyes. I won't let her hurt you. But I need your help. I have told you all I know. Hachi delivers messages for your husband. That means they have contact. It's only a matter of time until Masako finds them both. No, you have to save him. I can only do that if I get to him before she does. You know your husband. Where would he hide? Let me think. This is important, Hina. Your husband murdered innocents. I'll be back. Well? I'm giving her time to think about where he might be. What did you offer her? Let's take a walk. I know a place she won't hear us.
I told Hina I would try to save her husband's life. You know I'm going to kill him. I had to gain her trust somehow. So you lied. I told her I would try to save him. And I will. What will you tell her when you fail, Jin? That you could not forgive his crime. And that I will not stand between you and justice. Everywhere I look here, I see only the night my family died. You had a family before you married Lord Adachi. Could you go to them? My older brother died a few years ago. And my sister, the assassins butchered her. The only thing I recognized was her gold sash. I didn't mean to make you relive that day. It never leaves my mind. There should be music. What? My grandchildren would make songs with me here. To celebrate the changing of the seasons. I will never hear them play again. Thank you. Hina. Get to the house. Well, you and I all know how this is about to go, right? Only makes sense. You have an informant gonna give you information. You buttered him up. And yep, huzzah. Not to make light of a woman's death. We need her killer. At least fictionally. Now. Better look around. They must have left a trail. Man. I want this pond in my backyard. This way. Alright, you guys know the deal. Follow the footprints. It's gonna lead us to our killer. Like how there was footprints in the wood beam there. Why would someone kill Hina? To keep us from finding Sadao. The traitors knew we had her. It was a long journey from the woodcutter. Many people saw her with me. You made sure they did. You used her as bait. I hoped her husband would take it. And now an innocent woman is dead. The traitors killed her, not us. But you made her a target. Only one set of tracks. Whoever the killer is, they're alone. With Hina gone, we need them alive. No response. <laughs> we can't let him die. Help! We can't let him die. All right, bear your blade. Play skirt. I don't want to die like this. Oh, well, usually that means he's probably about to die. We'll grab this little singing cricket. Oh. Hey now. No, no, no. Clean the blade. I'm always. No, not you. Hachi, Sadao's brother. Why did you kill Hina? Tried to free her. She wouldn't leave. Wanted to save Sadao. She screamed for you. I, I didn't mean to. Where's your brother? I failed him. I won't betray him. You can't die. Tell me where he is. He's gone. Hina died for nothing. She was murdered by traitors, just like my family. I can't give up the hunt. He carried messages for his brother. 
Maybe he had one. What did you find? A map of supply routes. He delivered food to survivor camps. Maybe Sadao is hiding at one. Go to the nearest camp and talk to the monk in charge. He might know what the map reveals. What about you? I will bury Hina. I owe her that. I'll find you at the camp when I'm done. Alright, that has to be the weirdest uh, I didn't mean to I've ever heard. She screamed, I didn't mean to kill her. Karma came back for him, that's for sure. Alright, so playing with this is Tails. Hopefully you guys like them. I enjoy them. Uh, they add a little bit of perspective to the characters you get to play with. Uh, but the goal is what we'll do is I'll try to work through like two to three at a time. And then I'll try to upload these videos in succession of one another kind of on like a daily basis and kind of grind through these until we get to the villages. But in the meantime, I appreciate you guys checking in and I will see you in part 19.